Hello guys, my name is Amaka and you're welcome to Lizama Stitches. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a kitchen cap. So if this looks like what you like to learn, keep watching, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. Now for my kitchen cap, this is the fabric I'll be using for my kitchen cap. Now I'm going to fold it into two and I'll fold it again into four. Just like this, just like when you want to cut a full circle. Now this point, from this point, I'm going to mark 12 inches. I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to cut it. So after cutting, now this is the next thing I'm going to do is this. So I have my circle. I have my circle here. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark. Now I'm going to mark three inches. I'm going to mark three inches from here. Three inches. So I'm going to cut it. Now, uh, this opening I have here, I'm going to use this by, I'm going to use this to tidy this up. So I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance. Let me illustrate the pin. So I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance and I'm going to fold it this way. I'm going to fold it in. So after sewing, I'm going to have something like this. After that, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it round. I'm going to sew it round with gather stitches. So I'm, I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. Now this is the this is my cap. Now I've sewn it round. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to gather it. So I'm just going to hold one of these, one of the threads, and I'll gather it. I'm going to gather it just like this. Greatness do my best, man. I'll take it. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 So after gathering it. Now after gathering it this way, I'm going to measure it. Now the head circumference I'm working with is is 22 inches. The head circumference I'm working with is 22 inches. So I'm going to measure it to see if I've gotten that 22 inches. So this is just exactly 22 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is this. Now look at my band. Now this band is 23 inches. 23 inches. I'm going to use half inch to sew here and half inch to sew here. To sew here. So the next thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold my cap this way. And I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it with half inch seam allowance. I'm going to sew it with half, half inch seam allowance. Now take note. This, now this band, this band is 23 inches by 7 inches. When I put it on fold, I'm going to have 3.5 inches. Now, this 3.5 inches, I'm going to use half inch to sew here. I'm going to use half inch to attach this to this. So, what will be left is 3 inches. 
three inches. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start by sewing half inch. I'm going to start by, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew this. I'm going to sew it round with half inch seam allowance. After sewing it with half inch seam allowance, I'm going to, now I'm going to, I'm going to use half inch seam allowance here. From here, I'm going to use half inch seam allowance to cover up this part. Now I'm going to sew this part again with half inch seam allowance, just like this to cover the rough edges. I'm going to use half inch seam allowance from here to cover this part. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. This is my kitchen cap. Now I've attached the band. You see how I did it? I did it neatly. Now you won't see the, the seam allowance from here and you won't see it from here. You see how it is? You see how it is? So now I also, I've also closed here. I've closed here as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach my elastic. Now this is my elastic. I'm going to attach my elastic this way. I'm going to attach it this way. Now I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. And this way. So this is the second one. I'm going to put it here. And so I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. So I finished sewing it. Now this is it. This is it. So this is it. So this is my kitchen cup. So that's just it with this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Nizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.